Hey guys, Darcy here and I thought I'd give you a quick tutorial on how to become membered on the World 84 server. So when you spawn in, you spawn in here. Hello Mr. Man who just spawned in, or not, I don't know, but you get to read signs, yay! So to become a member, you need to read all the signs in the tower. Then you need to say out loud in the chat the Ventrilo port number, which is on one of the signs in the tower. Uh, for its server, it's pretty simple. You read through the signs that have the few rules that will keep you from being banned. Um, so you don't really have anything to lose. It's a one-time thing, really. Uh, so yeah, basically for those who want to play PA only, you have to do that. Um, you have to become a member before you can do that. So if you try and leave the tower, you'll be TP'd back into the tower before you become a member. You know you're a member because if you talk in chat, you have a white name. Uh, so what you do is you turn around, you come down here. And uh, this is the tutorial tower as it is. So uh, walking down the tutorial tower, it's a bit of a cool staircase, I have to admit. Uh, so here are the main rules. There's only a few rules. Uh, you have to show respect to the staff. Staff are defined by people with pink names or red names. Uh, basically, pink names equal someone with a mod. Hello, Screwhead, you are a mod. Uh, red names equal someone who's an admin. Uh, you have to treat other players with respect, not just, you know, um, staff. Respect doesn't mean you have to like someone, by the way. It just means that you don't, you know, start unnecessary flame with them. You know, take stuff to private. Don't, you know, spam chat with hate messages. Um, there is no lava, no TNT, or fire griefing anywhere. Okay, if you grief with any of those three things, you will be banned. Griefing is actually allowed on the server in the wild. You know it's a wild because if you look in the chat, it switched between the wilderness and between a town or safe zone. And so if you're in the wilderness, you can um, you can grief as long as there's no fire, TV, TNT, or lava involved. Um, X-raying, not allowed. Um, no client hacks. That includes notice. Um, anything that basically gives you the advantage. Um, raise minimap is allowed. Optifine is allowed. You know, there's quite a few mods that are allowed. If you have a like, if you don't know, ask one of the staff if this mod is allowed, and you know, we'll then if it's a mod that is allowed, we'll immediately tell you. If we're unsure, we'll bring it up uh, to the rest of the staff and have a discussion on it and let you know. Uh, when it comes to town issues, bug the mayor, not the mods. That means that you know, if someone griefs in a town you're in then it's the mayor's responsibility to deal with it, not the mod's responsibility. The, the towns basically, their rules are dictated by the mayor and their mayor is the boss. So you need to bug them. Um, okay, what do we got over here? This is uh, basically rules about bullying. Uh, we do not accept racism, bigotry, hate, sexism. Um, you know, we don't want to have issues where people are hating on each other. We, it, we're trying to build a community here. And so if you could respect that when coming onto the server, that'd be great. Um, over here, it's just some stuff on PvP. PvP is one of the main aspects of this server. A lot of people PvP here. And so obviously, um, there's some rules to PvP. For example, uh, one of the main rules about PvPing is a rule called PvP jumping. And so that means that you are jumping in between PvP zones and safe zones. You're not allowed to do this. If you're going to PvP, you either have to be in a PvP zone. If you don't want to PvP, you go into a safe zone. If you know someone attacks you, you can run into a safe zone, that's fine. But don't then jump back into the PV zone and then try to hit them and run back into the safe zone. If you're caught doing this, you'll have a couple punishments. One of them might be that you know you'll be TP'd into the wild to made to fight that person that you know you've you've committed to fighting in the first place. The second might be that you just just take everything out of your inventory. You know, and if you keep repeating, it, it does result in a ban. It's happened before. You know, it's pretty simple. Um, don't do it. And as it says, you know, one of the first punishments is being kicked off the server for an hour. Um, there's also a plugin that basically dictates whether you've entered PvP or not. So if you hit someone, it will tell you you've entered into PvP. If you get hit, I'm pretty sure you can teleport away, but you can't log off. And this is called PvP logging. And if you do so, you'll be banned for 15 minutes. Um, this sign saying that you'll drop your items is actually outdated. You get banned for 15 minutes, it's kind of a, a not necessarily a hard punishment, but it is a punishment that, you know, it doesn't look good on you. Um, staff have the final say in anything. Um, if you disagree what it, like in game that is, uh, when it comes to being banned, you can go into the forums, you can open up a discussion, you can PM an admin, you get banned, you can go and appeal your ban at the forums, there's a um, separate forum for that where only mods and staff can, that, and then they discuss, you know, whether your appeal is um, remorseful whether or not it feels like you're actually sorry for what you've done and whether you're banned fairly or not. 
So, you know, be fair, be cool. Um, you don't have to be the nicest guy. It's awesome if you are. If you want to come on and PvP a lot, that's fine. We like PvPers, but, you know, don't break the rules because if you do, you'll get banned and the staff do have the final say in what happens. Uh, so over here is when we start, you know, testing you. So those are the rules. They're pretty much all the rules there is. It's not that many. It's not like a, a list of 100 rules you need to memorize. And not, a lot of them are fairly common sense. Uh, so what you need to do now is you need to basically pass a multiple choice chess test. Um, so what you do is you right click the sign underneath here and that's where you start. Um, the, the multiple choice test is really simple, you know. What is the IP for this server? Um, is it game.world84.ca? World 8.4 or Game World 8.4. This one's fairly simple. It's Game World 8.4. Um, so then you come over here. Uh, you got a little sign about here, which is about death chest. If you die, what happens is a chest with your stuff drops in it. Um, the chest will remain locked to everyone apart from yourself for three minutes. And after that three minutes, anyone can open the chest. After I think five or ten minutes, the chest is then destroyed. Um, you can actually TP to your death chest if you hold a diamond in your hand and type the words slash def TP. Uh, by doing so, you'll be teleported straight on top of your chest. Um, if someone blocks the way to your chest, you'll be teleported to the you know safest points. That might mean if you die in a cave, you might be teleported to above ground. It's usually a good idea to bring a pick, especially if you're versing someone who PvPs. They may block your chest with obsidian, which is perfectly legal. So uh, you just have to take that into consideration. Um, here are some rules about griefing. As said, um, you, you've, you've read these up, so we don't actually need to do this. Uh, what's this here? It looks like, oh, this is about um, World 84, the website. Um, on the website, there is a live map. It's called the dynamic map, which allows you to see everything. You can pay to have yourself hidden on the dynamic map or actually have access to the command, which is, uh, whoops, there goes notice. And, uh, by the way, for those who are wondering, um, all the staff are allowed to use notice on this server. Uh, we use it as a flying client And so if you see the stuff flying, that's how we all fly. Uh, we do not hack on the server Do not accuse us of hacking on the server. It's kind of like saying that the Pope isn't Catholic um, Okay, and so on the website, there's a live map. Um, there's a forum. There's stats uh, There's a wiki which is currently being updated. Do not rely on the wiki for up-to-date info The tutorial house always has the most up-to-date info, but it does have some useful resources and it's being updated currently um, okay, second multiple choice question. Is lava slash fire slash briefing legal? Legal? Depends. Illegal. What did we learn, guys? Was it legal? Depends or illegal? Lava, fire, and TT griefing was illegal. So uh, we click that and whoa! Did anyone spot the hidden sign? I'm not sure I even spot that. That is sneaky. Um, it looks like you have to read all the signs. So back there is a very important sign. That's the sign that's going to get you membered, actually. Um, so make sure you read that. I'm not going to go back. I'm not going to show you it. Um, the server owner is Ed Drick. He is the server owner. I'm not the server owner. People think I am. His evil twin is Mortal Sin. Hint. Um, basically, listen to this guy. He knows what he's talking about. Um, okay. Basically, the do and don'ts of PvP. Do have fun, do play with friends, do use potions, all loud, and chant your stuff. Don't lava kill. Lava kill's not allowed. Um, it Lava kill, we didn't allow that because people were then leaving the lava. It was turning into lava griefing, and so it was too hard. Don't jump in between PvP zones. Do not scam. Scamming is not allowed. If you were caught scamming, you'll be either made to continue your deal that you've given, or you might have your items nuked. It's, you know, it's dependable. Do not kill with TNT. Uh, hero chat commands are being added. Hero chat is the type, the plugin that allows you to chat. There's lots of different channels. Um, one of the main ones you need to know is CH list, uh, which gives you the different channels. And then CH, the name of the channel, will allow you to join that channel and talk into it. Slash G will allow you to talk in global. Hello. <laughs> okay. Um, here are the do and don'ts of um, PVPing again. You're allowed to sneak. Uh, you're allowed to use enchanted items and have fun again. You're still allowed to do that. Uh, you're not allowed to use fire. You're not allowed to use hacks in any way. You're not allowed to PvP log. Um, if you suspect someone is hacking, send a slash tell to a member of staff. Do not chill it out in global. That causes so many problems. And chances are you're probably wrong. Not going to lie. There's tons of people who get people wrong. Slash tell someone, um, being a staff member, if you think someone is PvP logging. Uh, sorry, hacking. As said, um, this sign is outdated. PvP logging bans you for 15 minutes. It doesn't drop your items anymore. 
Um, okay. Ooh, special sign. Remember to read all the signs. Okay, which three uh, bannable PvP offense? Uh, so these are three things that will get you banned for if you do them. Uh, option one is PvP zone jumping, lava killing, and scamming. Option two is TPA killing potions and bringing friends. Option three is lava killing, TPA killing, and sneaking. Um, this one's fairly obvious. Now for those wondering what um, TPA killing is, it's the use of the teleportation system which is on the server which is slash TPA. Um, if I send a request that just says slash TPA, who will accept my request? Let me just think. I need to find someone who is definitely, oh I'm an ice cream, he will. So if I say TPA, I'm an ice cream. Um, He'll probably accept this. What he'll do is he has to then set decide, do I want Darcy teleporting to me or not? And um, if he does want me to teleport, he'll accept my TPA and he'll charge me 25 credits. Hello, you are on YouTube. Um, send me and someone send me it. Uh, I need to get someone to send me one. Someone send me a request. Um, okay. Let me just, you know, <laughs> TPA. Okay. Um, now what's going to happen is someone, probably tons of people are going to send me a TPA request and uh, the way you accept them is by typing slash TPA accept um, either like this, just like this, TPA CCEPT and then their name. It doesn't look like anyone actually wants to send me a TPA request. This is kind of embarrassing. Um, it's slash TPA accept. Um, accept is with the TP. It's TP accept actually. Um, it will say use slash accept, that does not work. Uh, let me see if there's anyone who wants, no, no one wants a TPA to me. You can use their name if you want to be specific. Um, sometimes you get more than one TPA, so if you want only one person TPing to you, and you want to define who that is, you use the name. Uh, now, basically, I highly suggest when you come on the server, you find a town to join. Um, I don't know what town we are in, did it tell me before? We are in the Steam Crew Estates, and uh, they made a town in a giant cavern, very nice. Uh, but towns basically protect you from the wilderness. Um, if you get griefed, the town mayor will take care of it, hopefully, if you've got a good town mayor. Um, if the grief was major, uh, you may find that a mod may be very, very gracious and might do a rollback for you. I can't guarantee anything. It all happens on the circumstance and who you deal with. Uh, but, you know, it gives you protection. It lets you make friends quicker. Um, and obviously having friends on a server is a great thing. Uh, also, a quick pro tip. I love to PvP. Look at this. There's actually a cool system on the server which allows you to enchant um, certain stuff for very specific enchants up to level X being 10. Uh, so as you can imagine that's quite good. And um, it costs you money. It costs you quite a bit of money actually. Uh, but it's in this room here which is next to the blue building um, with the lapis roof which actually has all the staff members in it. So yeah, well, it doesn't now because the staff members have kind of been the NPC's got reset, so that needs to happen again. I don't want to do that job. But look at these sweet enchants. Look at that, I've got a Fortune X pick. Um, what's this? This is a, uh, a Sharpness X Fire Aspect 6 um, <laughs> axe, and you know, a very nice sword there. So um, money is very useful. It can basically make the difference in PvP sometimes. Um, it's not impossible to kill someone with really good armor uh, and really good uh, weapons as I've shown on this one of my videos I'm not going to mention the one because ever since then everyone started doing that that wasn't good uh, but it is possible anyways guys I hope that's giving you an insight on world 84 remember I'm a player here I'm not just you know Dalsy the youtuber I'm Dalsy slash Joshua the person who likes to play Minecraft who has a job as a mod who will need to use his mod powers for the better of the server so you know if you break a rule do not pull the whole but Dalsy I'm a subscriber because it, it it's not relevant. You broke a rule, I have to ban you. If that happens, I'm not saying I will ban you, but I'm saying if I have to, I will. And you begging because you're a subscriber will completely be ignored and probably laughed at, to be honest. A lot of the staff find it funny. Um, also, I will kill you as a PvPer. I do not have favoritism. Um, the only people who are spared from my wrath are the people in my town, a mentor, which I'm gonna try and give you weekly tours off because it grows daily and um, do not ask to be added to a mentor, I will not add you. Anyways guys, um, just a really quick tutorial on the World 84 server. I hope you've enjoyed the video, hope it's been informational, that wasn't a word, educational, that's a better word. And uh, that's it. Catch you guys on my next video. Peace.